before you formed my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, and I know this very well. Amen. If your hair is stagnant and you haven't seen any growth in your hair for years and you just want that Rapunzel looking hair, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my start to finish hair routine for absolute maximum hair growth. So definitely stay tuned until the end to see exactly what it is that I do. So starting off with extremely dry hair that is in desperate need of some TLC, I'm going to be completely saturating my hair with water. What you don't want to do is try to comb through this mess because it will literally cause so much breakage. So what I'm going to be doing is saturating my hair with some regular regular H2 water because as you know already dry afro hair is incredibly incredibly fragile. If you do have high porosity hair I do actually recommend that you go in with a hot oil treatment before you do any wash day but of course I'm going to go with my hair growth shampoo which I absolutely love it's got so many great ingredients that help to stimulate hair growth and also strengthen the hair and this is the kind of shampoo that you want to literally run through your hair because it has so many great ingredients it's kind of almost like an Ayurvedic tea if you were to kind of put water and herbs together and rinse that through your hair, this shampoo pretty much mimics that. And of course, I'm going in with sections. You want to make sure that your hair is thoroughly cleansed because you want to start off with a clean base. You don't you don't want product buildup, guys. Product buildup can actually make your hair a lot more like unmanageable and unpenetratable, if that's even a word. So I go in and I shampoo twice. This shampoo will not leave your hair dry, I guarantee you. And then the Tangle Slayer. And then I'm, of course, going to go in with my absolute favourite product once I've rinsed it out. It is the Tangle Slayer. It literally softens your hair so that it feels like silk so you can detangle your hair so quickly. It makes tangles literally submit. So if you are someone who does struggle with detangling your hair, this is a must try. I always say when it comes to the Tangle Slayer, it really just speaks for itself. So if you ever try it, definitely DM me on Instagram and let me know your thoughts because every single person, I guarantee you who's used this, has loved it. It's 4C Girl approved as well. So I'm just gonna finger detangle. And the way in which I'm gonna finger detangle is that of course I've wet my hair, I put the tangle slate in, and then I go in in even smaller sections. And I literally just use my fingers to feel my hair to see if there's any knots. And then I literally just use my fingers to do that. And if there are any knots beyond repair, I will just go in with a pair of my hair scissors and then cut that through. But honestly, you, the water alone and the tangle slayer has softened my hair so much that it makes detangling a breeze and my hair was pretty pretty knotty and if I feel like I need to reactivate the conditioner all I will do is re-wet my hair so what you will see me doing throughout this process is of course applying the tangle slayer but every so often re-wetting my hair and what that will do is reactivate the conditioner so it's really easy to kind of maneuver through your hair and i've kind of done this in real time just to show you guys how i really do take my time when it comes to detangling if you are serious about hair growth then you need to kind of dedicate the time to detangling with care because this is a major step in any hair growth routine that you really want to focus on because it really does help you to retain so much more length so if you're seeing constant breakage then you might want to just kind of spend some time in just detangling your hair i'm just showing you how detangling tangled my hair is in that small amount of time um, by running that comb through but typically I don't really use combs especially on uh, wet hair I typically use combs on blow dried hair but that's another video for another day so then again I'm going in with another section completely saturating my hair with water and then using more tangle slayer and as you can see my hair is just submitting submitting but i'm taking my time i'm not rushing through it i'm just making sure that this section is detangled and the thing is you don't want to over detangle you can see that i'm detangling my hair but i'm not overdoing it i don't need my hair to kind of run 
kind of snag free perfectly every single time what i try to do is just get the majority of the knots out and then i move i don't over detangle but if you do find your hair snagging a lot then you might actually be due for a trim so yeah i really hope that explains how i detangle my hair it's really important so yeah i hope that's helpful just so much easier to manage and all those nasty tangles are out and yeah i'm completely loving it my curls are really revitalized and <laughs> literally this is such a good detangling conditioner and that's how much hair i lost in the process that's quite normal for me i'm of course going to rinse that out but I don't just stop there when it comes to um, moisturizing my hair. When I moisturize my hair, it is a three step process. So once I've rinsed that tangles layer out, I'm then gonna deep condition. I'm then gonna apply my leave-in conditioner and then an oil. So when it comes to moisturizing your hair, you wanna be doing this in stages. So the deep conditioner has the most, um, how can I describe it, the most concentration of moisturizing ingredients and that will really really help in moisturizing your hair i'm also going to be sitting under a steam cap as well for a little while but as you can see i'm working in sections the key here is sections sections hex sections i have a lot of hair so it's really important that i don't just kind of slab it on all at once what i want to do is of course section my hair and make sure the deep conditioner gets to penetrate i'm then going to be sat under the hooded dryer for about 20 minutes and that's going to really help open my cuticle so if you are a low porosity babe just like myself then definitely definitely sit under the dryer because that really does help in penetrating your hair and i will definitely link everything that i'm using in the description bar so this is me out of the shower my hair is freshly deep conditioned and completely revitalized strength and health and just moisture has been maintained and what i'm actually going to be doing today guys is a protective slash stretched style so if you didn't know already i like to put my hair in stretched or protective styles you will never catch me on here kind of finishing my wash day routine and then just letting my hair air dry it just won't happen what i'm going to be doing is a braid out and i'm going to be using that using the products i just showed a leave-in which i'm just showing right now then i'm going to seal that in with the hair strengthening oil and also using some eco styler gel as a styler so once i've put in all those products in i'm going to be working in sections of six and i'm going to be simply braiding my hair this will really help me to maintain moisture first of all 
it will also help me to keep my hair stretched because what you will find with afro hair is if you do allow it to just air dry in its natural state it will most likely form a lot of tangles and just give you a, a just a really big headache when it comes to washing your hair the next time i found that with this routine it really helps me to maintain so much length guys i've been natural for a long time so i can kind of tell you the kind of styles that work if you have especially low porosity hair and a uh, type 4 hair so that's kind of how much hair i lost in the process of just kind of running my hands through my hair i like to show you this because i want to show you that it is normal especially if you haven't combed your hair for three weeks as i did before washing my hair so then i'm gonna just go back in again with the leave-in conditioner of course to add moisture and also the oil to seal it and then the gel styler to give me some hold i'm then gonna wear these braids for I'd say a few days just so they can kind of settle in. I don't like to remove the braids too early because then my hair just gets super frizzy and then it just doesn't work. So as you can see, look, more hair because I do get a lot of comments around people losing so much hair, but I want to show you guys that it is normal. So long as it's not excessive, there's going to be shed hair that is just tangled in your hair and it's fine. You will see it come out every so often, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm just going to go in again with the leave-in conditioner and the oil and the gel and that's my three-step method just to get kind of the perfect braid out and with this, it really does help me maintain moisture for so many days. Like guys, I can leave these braids in for about a week and then for the following week, it will still have moisture. It's crazy. These products are just game-changing. Of course, all the products will be listed in the description bar and yeah. I also wanted to show you guys that it's actually okay to be somewhat heavy handed. I'm not going to moisturize my hair again for the next two weeks so I want to make sure I'm getting in as much moisture as I possibly can. So don't be afraid to be heavy handed and my top which was once black is now white because yeah it gets a bit messy and of course my hair is really long so of course if your hair is not this long you don't need this much product but I'm just kind of showing you that it's actually okay to be heavy handed especially if you're not going to wash your hair for another two weeks this is the way I'm able to maintain so much moisture for weeks on end it really does work guys <music> me all done my braids are completely done and i'm just gonna pretty much be like this for about a week or some days and i'm just gonna put my hair with um a little silk scrunchie and then i'm gonna go in with my extra strength hair growth potion because girl these edges need to be maintained we've all been there where your edges have completely been removed from your head but we have recovered and i'm also gonna go in with a head scarf just to make sure my hair is just really super sweet and sealed and this is quite a few days after, if I'm not mistaken, it's probably about seven-ish days. And I'm just going to take my braids down with my hair strengthening oil. It's really important to make sure that if you're going to be managing your hair, you kind of want some kind of lubricant, if that makes sense. So I definitely went in with my hair strengthening oil to my fingers, just so when I take down my braids, they're still super smooth. And that's the definition I got. Of course, the longer you leave in the braids, the more defined your hair will be and this served as a protective style because if i'm honest i just literally went around town <laughs> with my hair in these braids and i was unashamed i've got no issue with looking like that i have no issue personally i don't think you should have an issue too especially if you are on your hair growth journey especially if you don't want to necessarily get like a proper protective style where you have some added hair if you want to just have your natural hair and braid it there's nothing wrong with that it also serves as a style because 
after a few days of letting your hair air dry, you can remove your hair and it can be this fabulous braid out. So yeah, I'm all for just minimal styles that do not take much time out of your day. Like it probably took me about 30 minutes post shower to put all that in my hair and the braids. So I'm a very lazy, but you know, I still do the, the important steps when it comes to taking care of my natural hair. So this is also a style for you girls out there if you just want something minimal, but you still wanna look cute. So if you did this on a Monday and then by the weekend you had to go somewhere, boom, I got you. So this is a style definitely for you. <laughs> just working in that hair growth potion it's so lovely and I'm then gonna go in just to separate the curls where they naturally fall a little bit on day one I try not to separate too much just because it makes it frizzier but yeah that's how much hair I lost in that process so yeah my hair is almost always almost always coming out but it's something to be afraid of and that's me and that's how my hair is looking I hope you guys like it and I'll just show you guys what I do on a daily-ish basis until it's time to time to wash my hair and I'm just doing a little bit of a little length check but it didn't really work so yeah that's me oh okay I go in again and that's kind of the hairstyle I had I think I ended up just putting in a little cute low pony with like a few bits to frame my face and of course, I'm using my silk scrunchie. And yeah, that's how my hair was looking. Camera focus, focus, yes, honey, coming, serving with a curly. <laughs> and this is me, I think, so this is actually what I did to go to sleep. I'm just showing you guys, I literally put my hair in a bun, apply some hair growth potion, in particular to my edges or my areas of concern, and I put on a headscarf and I literally go to bed. That's pretty much my nighttime routine. And then the next morning, you'll see me kind of going in with my hair strengthening oil to kind of separate my hair just a little bit more because it's day two, so the curls need to be popping a little bit more, honey, okay? And that's how my hair is. I didn't really do too much, but that day, again, I just wore a bun because I'm a mum. <laughs> so there's... I don't really need the hair in my face, so <laughs> that pony will do. And this is actually the following day, I just wore the same thing. And I'm not really doing much to my hair. Again, honestly, my hair is so moisturized for so many days. Like I had those braids in for about a week and still my hair is moisturized and I don't really need to add any water, probably until about day four post taking out the braids. So yeah, that's how my hair is and it's really looking great, moisturized and again, of course, your girl's a mum so hair in the face is not really the one because my daughter will pull my hair. So that's kind of just how I had my hair for the rest of the day, half up, half done and you can see Kadara as well. I think this is the following day. Sorry, this is sped up so much but I'm just trying to show you guys what I do on a daily-ish basis and Kadara, of course. And yeah, that's how my hair is looking the following day. And look, my hair is still really defined and moisturized. And that's another day. So this day, I actually spritz a little bit of water to my hair and then I'm gonna apply a bit more hair strengthening oil because I did notice my hair feeling a bit more dry. But then again, this is how many days post wash day? It's probably about mm, a week and a half post wash day and my hair is still feeling good. So I just need a little bit of water and a little bit of hair strengthening oil. And then I'm just gonna put my hair in these two bantu knots just to kind of stretch my hair a little bit and allow the moisture to kind of just like marinate a bit, a bit better. that's how my hair is looking the day after so we have a lot more volume we have volume we've still got moisture and we're still killing it with the definition okay guys and this is the the next next day and i'm just showing you guys how my hair is looking separating it a little bit 
fluffing it out adding a little bit more water adding a little bit more oil and just yeah this is pretty much what i do up until the day i need to wash it and i will then of course go in with my normal wash day routine that you guys saw at the beginning of the video so this is just what I kind of do to maintain the moisture in my hair for literally up to two weeks, sometimes even three, depends on just my schedule. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'd be doing on a daily-ish basis. And I hope that you guys loved it. And if you do follow this routine, then definitely comment below. Love you guys.